What's up guys, Carter here, and today we're gonna show you how to wash your down products. We're gonna be washing this down hat, um, but this process would apply to any down product that you have. We're going to be using Gear Aid Revive X Down Cleaner, and you'll need a space to wash in, whether that's a tub or a washing machine without an agitator. We are using this tub here because our sink is kind of small. Uh, you could use the sink if, you're, if you have a bigger one, or you could use a bathtub if you're doing something like a quilt or a larger jacket. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is get this nice and saturated with water so that we can clean it. Excellent. So you wanna make sure that you're using a down cleaner, something that will not strip the down or the fabric of its DWR or its properties. Um, so check the back of your package. It should tell you uh, how much solution you need depending on the size of your item. In this case, we are going to use a half ounce or one cap full. If you have any large spots or things that you know that you need to spot treat, go ahead and hit those now with just a little bit. So I'm gonna do that first. Uh, so now we're gonna add in our half ounce. I am a scientist and this is exactly a half ounce. Alrighty, so mix this in there. Make sure you get the water nice and agitated so you can get the soap doing its thing. And I'm going to get this nice and scrubbed off. Make sure you get the inside as well. Especially in something like a hat, there's a sweat band. It's probably gonna be gross. Just like washing your hair, you wanna rinse all the soap off and make sure that the water is running clean. All right, so we're back with a fresh bucket of water and we are just going to rinse this puppy off until there's nothing left but beautiful down and fabric. Just be mindful of your product. It's likely pretty delicate fabrics and stuff, so don't yank on the threads or anything like that. Try to treat it with some love and respect. So before we go on to drying, one thing you want to do is just make sure you squeeze all of the water out that you possibly can by hand first. That's just going to make it much easier to dry. Now we've got a soggy hat, uh, so we need to dry it. So you can do this two ways. The ideal way is that you have a dryer that you can stick this in with a few tennis balls or something to help fluff it up and run that on low or no heat uh, until it's dry. We don't have that here at the shop, unfortunately. So another thing that you can do is just hang it up like you would close on a clothesline. Washing your down is crucial to making sure that you keep it at maximum performance, and plus, it's expensive. You want to treat it well. I normally wash my down products about once a year, depending on how much I use them. If you have any tips or tricks on how you wash your down, hit us up. Love you. Should I wear the down hat? <laughs> no. Are you sure? I promise. I feel like I should. Hey, guys! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I lost my train of thought. You're good. Yeah, I'm ready to just keep rolling. <laughs>